Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Elliot Towsley. I'm James Landry. We are the co-founders of DeNovo Agency and we created the Spotify Outreach Program. The Spotify Outreach Program is designed to help you as an independent artist get listeners to your music. We need to get your music heard so that you can start to collect data and understand who likes your music. The name of the game for our program is getting Spotify to do a lot of this work for you. We want you to end up on playlists like Discover Weekly, Release Radar, Daily Mix, and use Spotify as a tool to reach an audience rather than have it be like a force against you. So the name of the game for us is getting Spotify to do that work for you. Over time, Spotify collects data and out of this data, they look for patterns. In those patterns is where they're going to start generating playlist placements for you on Discover Weekly, Release Radar, and generate similar artists on your profile. When they do this, you'll see your music start to grow organically, and over time, your reach will grow exponentially. And the way that Spotify does this is by defining a description of the types of listeners that seem to resonate with your music the most. Uh, the, a big mistake we see a lot of musicians make is thinking that their genre is their target audience. And if you're marketing rock music, that's way too broad. It could be my dad who likes Led Zeppelin, or it could be like some kid who likes some band I haven't heard of yet. But that's not specific enough, and it's not specific enough for Spotify. Spotify needs to know, generally, what type of listener is listening to your music. That's why we created the Data Acquisition Program. The goal of this program is to test three songs quickly, all at the same time. What it does is it takes each song and it guarantees a placement in three to five playlists per song. The average uh, audience size between these playlists is about 20,000 per song. So what this does is it takes those three songs and places them in playlists for two full weeks in front of 20,000 people apiece. The reason we do this is because we want to figure out which song is going to perform the best in front of an audience. We're looking for a retention rate of the song. What song gets the most streams, the most saves? What song do you see people listening to on repeat? Once we've learned this information, Spotify has also learned this information. It will accelerate your growth when you focus on that song at a later time. The goal of the data acquisition program is to figure out which song should be the song that you lead with, and it will help you get the information needed to figure out generally where your listeners are. So at the end of this program, you'll have a consultation call with us, and we'll help you go over all of your unique, specific data. And if we find that song number two is resonating the most, and it's resonating with people who are 27 and to 29 in the Midwest, well, now we know going forward, you have the song that seems to work best and you have the start to a target audience that resonates with your music the most. This program has been designed and tested to save you money and time. We don't want to spend three months guessing what song is going to work. We want to accelerate this, test it in a two week period so that you can begin to focus all of your ads and your promotion towards the one song that you know people like the most. One thing I like to say is even if you happen to find $10,000 on the ground today and you want to go all in on your music, you still want to know which song to go all in on and where to aim these advertisements and eliminate guesswork. The data acquisition program is built to help you save money, help you test songs quickly and eliminate guesswork. Instead of targeting an entire genre and saying, hey, everyone who likes rock music, instead, if you know that the people who like you most are in their mid-20s and they're in the Midwest, well now we know where to promote and where your fans are and where we can look for opportunities to grow your business. We look forward to making that transition from a music hobby to a music business with you. And we'll talk to you soon after the program is done.